the scripture says that the disciples went to Jesus. They were wondering why they couldn't cast a demon out. Okay? And, and, and when they went to Jesus about it, this is what he said. He says, and Jesus said to them, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. It's not even the seed. The grain of my, it's the same scripture when it talks about how Jesus coming back in the twinkling of an eye. It didn't say at the bat of the eye. It said at the twinkle. So you said, God, you got to hear God good. You got to hear him because a twinkle is when your eye, when the light hits your eye. Folk be telling you, God gonna come in the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye. It didn't say in the blink of an eye. It says in the twinkle of an eye. That's just how fast. That means that God can come faster than this. The twinkle of the light on my eye. You can come. The same why he said, the, the folks will tell you, at the size of a mustard seed. That ain't what the scripture said. The scripture says, it's a grain of a mustard seed. The, that's right, say it again. A piece of the seed. Good God Almighty. Mm. But who is the big seed? Jesus is the big seed. So you can have a piece of Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you, you. Jesus is the big seed. He was planted. He said, I'm the vine. My father is the husband and ye are the branches. So you can have a piece of Jesus and still have big results. You say, I want the whole Jesus. I want the whole Jesus. Don't say you can get a fragment of the rock. Come on. Jesus. That'll work as long as the foundation the full foundation is founded upon Jesus Christ. So when I'm looking at this scripture, it says, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain. See, you, you ain't speaking because folks is trying to hush you. For some of y'all that go to college, you are not speaking because people try to make you be quiet. Why? Because you the pinky toe. I ain't supposed to say nothing. They don't want me to pray. They don't call me for things to do important in the church. I'm the pinky toe. So I just supposed to just sit here and hush my mouth. The folks that have been saved a long time, it's all right, honey, just sit down and soak it in. Just soak it in. Well, what if God telling you this soaked enough? Now it's time for you to open up your lips. How long, how much you got to soak before you start speaking with the promises of God on your life? How long must you sit there and soak when God is saying, I have given you a mouth and thy word is not in thy mouth. Just like Reverend Larry said, thy word is in your mouth already. He's waiting on you to open your mouth and say something. Boy, I wish the choir could just sing that thing. Open your mouth and say something. But watch this though. Jesus said you can have faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed. I have still authorized you to say something. Yeah. It's not if the people around you feel like you're not equipped to say nothing. Only thing that matters is that Jesus said. You got to stop thinking about people, their reactions and what they think of you. Stand up on your feet. You, you got to stop thinking like that of what they think about you because that's irrelevant. He says, you shall say unto this mountain, the mountain is symbolic for a barrier. Something is in your way. 
He didn't say you should say to the to the tree. <laughs> you can get around a tree. <laughs> Try to get around Mount Everest. You might be in a Mount Everest situation. You might be in a Smoky Mountain situation. You might be in a Helen, Georgia mountain situation. <laughs> There's different mountains, different heights, different sizes. But a mountain is a mountain. See, that's what we do. We try to get around stuff. Well, we ain't talking. We ain't saying nothing. That's why your process is long. The process is too long because God didn't tell you, I want you to go around it. I want you to say to it. Say. Speak to that thing. Uh, you, you trying to figure stuff out. You calling people, trying to figure out what's going on, how you going to do it, this and that, this thing in your way, this barrier. That bear could be anything. It could be, be health. It can be issues in the family. It can be salvation of your children. It can be problems on the job. Whatever that berry is that's standing in your way, you, you, you wrestling with that thing. God didn't call you to wrestle. You wrestling with flesh. He said we wrestle not against flesh. He didn't call you to wrestle. How long you gonna you gonna play tug of war with the devil? And God didn't never tell you to play tug of war with him. He said, "Say unto this mountain, remove hence to a yonder place." Ooh, I love what I love when he said this. Oh, that thing hit me like a ton of bricks. Mm, 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 mm. Like brother, brother Harris say, it made my socks pop off. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> you know when that mountain in your way, you know what you can tell that thing to do. Say, so you in my way. Yeah. You got to move. Yeah. Yeah. That mountain in, the, in, the, in your way, your children, yeah. your children can't see the light of day. Yeah. You a mother, you a grandmother, yes. you a father. You yeah. tell that, hey, you got to move. Yeah. Look at somebody and say, tell that thing to move. Yeah. Tell them, you got to move. You got to tell that thing to move. Yeah. You sitting up there trying to figure out how you going to get delivered. No, you speak to yourself, even if you got to look in the mirror and say, you got to move. You dealing with alcohol, you tell me, you got to move. You dealing with, uh, with smoking, you got to move. You dealing with promiscuity, say you got to move. You in my way, you messing up my destiny. God has destined me for greatness, and you're messing up my destiny. You're holding me back for what's great on the inside of me, and you in my way. You got to get somewhere. I mean now, I mean fast. You got to go. See, the problem is, you ain't got no problem with talking to people like that, but talk to the devil like that. You'll talk to people like that. You big and bad, you'll tell folks, you better go on somewhere. Tell the devil go on somewhere. Tell that mountain to go on somewhere. Tell diabetes, you got to move. Tell cancer, you got to move. Oh, y'all looking at me. Tell, tell those things to move. Oh, Jesus. You, you, you in my way. I, I'm trying to get somewhere. Go to yonder place. Yonder place means I don't want to see you. Oh, y'all don't want it. So you, you, and you ain't talking right. Yeah. You, you, you just talking so nice and stuff. And what that mountain do? The mountain just move to the left. And you still see it. It's there. You praying for your children? That mountain just move to the left. No, you need to get somewhere where I can't see you. 
I mean, you need to get somewhere. I'm talking about if you in my way and we in Harvard, I need you need to go to Paris. Yeah. I'm talking about people gonna have to take pictures of you and send it on a postcard because that's just how far away I want you from my family. That's how far away I need you away from my home, my mind, my sanity, my peace, my joy. That's how far I want you to be. I don't. You need to go yonder. And the Bible said, and it shall remove. Watch this. And nothing. This is a promise. I told y'all, shall is all, always comes with a promise. When God says shall, he says this is a promise. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. 